Hey, what is up, you guys? Yes, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been, like, missing. I've been really busy with school and stuff. But I'm here to film a video for you guys. So, I did a poll on my uh, Snapchat. And I asked if you guys would want to see, like, a hygiene routine video. And you guys said yes. So, we're going to be doing it. So, let's get right into the video. Hey. Hey. You know. Okay, so, story time. Why I'm doing this video is because, like, I love to smell good. Like, I never really cared about in the past like smelling good i was like oh yeah okay whatever like i shower like that's good enough i know really isn't good enough like i really i've stuck my game up by the way so like i love getting compliments on how i smell like i get a lot of compliments like you look you look good you smell good like you know all this stuff and it's like honestly like the best compliment to get is like when somebody's like you smell good because it's like damn like i don't know i feel like scent is such like i know that sounds weird but i feel like scent is such like a big deal um that's my dog barking love that but yeah i feel like scent is such a big thing like, have you ever like had a girl walk by you and like her hair smells really good or her perfume smells really good and you're just like damn like i want to smell like that like i want people to be like damn she smells good basically i know it sounds so weird but yeah like let's get on to the video this is this products i use i'm not saying you have to use this My signature smell is like vanilla i really like cinnamon smells like warm kind of smells um baking like anything that smells like edible is like i like it so my signature smell is like vanilla the perfume i use i carry with me all the time in my bag um i use this one and it's the vanilla swirl and it's, it's pretty good but yeah i use this um perfume i actually got a new one so this is a pretty new bottle i was using a different vanilla scent um i'll like insert a clip of what it looks like and it's really good like i got so many compliments people just love this smell i i like it too like what i spray on in the morning before i like leave the house is this um wrapped in sugar fine mist that i got from bath and body Works. shout out to my friend for buying me it love you boo look at how much i've used and it's only been like september and we're already like three months in or whatever so i've used a lot of it and i did get the marshmallow pumpkin latte from uh bath and body works this one smells so good and i've used like a good amount of it and pumpkin is like oh, it smells so good like you know it just smells so good like 10 out of 10. now the only thing i'm gonna say about like mixing scents is like you got to be careful because you don't want to be mixing like a cinnamon scent or like a vanilla I'm talking, I'm making a YouTube video. Okay, so this is like the most important part. Like when you're mixing scents, be really careful. Don't like use a fruity scent and like a vanilla scent or like a cinnamon scent and like a super fruity like strawberry scent. Cause sometimes it'll clash and it won't smell good. And then don't so with that being said, don't like mix scents. Like try to stick with like one scent. So like I use vanilla. So I use vanilla like deodorant, uh, vanilla body lotion, vanilla, uh, shampoo vanilla body scrub vanilla perfume like all that stuff so i like stick to one scent don't be mixing like strawberry and like vanilla because it's just gonna clash probably and it might not smell good and it could just make you smelling worse than you know you intended so i technically would not recommend mixing scents okay so the next thing i'm gonna say is make sure you brush your teeth like especially in the morning like you should be brushing your teeth at least tw twice a day two a day twice a day like that's the dentist in me i want to be a dentist so bad but like please brush your teeth like you don't want to be walking around with like ugly morning breath you don't want to be smelling like your dog's butt okay that's just nasty straight up don't do that you have like cereal and stuff and then you eat and then you get like stuff in your teeth and you're walking around smiling and you got like food in your teeth it's like that is so gross like no like please brush your teeth and like i get like sometimes you're like running late and you don't really have time to brush your teeth even though it should be like a main priority um i would 10 out of 10 recommend using a gum um or like mints and stuff i actually keep in my bag this is what my bag looks like and i keep these like little listerine and mint things and this is what they look like ignore like my super ratchet nails strips so you just like put it on your tongue and like your breath will be smelling minty and fresh and clean so if you don't want to like, chew gum and just you know you can't spit your gum out anywhere like 10 out of 10 recommend your breath will be super super clean also recommend using like a teeth whitener um like toothpaste i use um i think the 3d white crest like toothpaste and then i use the glamour um mouthwash to go with it so like it's kind of whitening my teeth and like you'll just be smelling fresh all day um make sure you scrub your tongue like with your toothbrush like scrub your tongue because like you don't want no like dirty morning breath like i said like it's gross okay brush your teeth 
Okay, so my next tip for you guys is to please use a lip scrub. I've had this lip scrub for like a few years, so it does last me a while. It's um the MAC Lip Scrub. Scrumptious? Is this supposed to be like scrumptious? Did they... I saw what you did, MAC. This looks like this, and mine's just like brown sugar cinnamon, I think. And it smells really good, like, it just smells like brown sugar, and that's what it looks like. It's, I'm almost out, so I need to go get more. I would totally recommend you guys, like, scrub your lips. Even use your toothbrush. Like, what I do is I put um, the lip scrub on my lips, and then I take my toothbrush, and I just, like, scrub my lips. I use a different toothbrush than I do for my teeth, because, it's like, that's kind of gross. <laughs> because you do have, like, dead skin on your lips, and you don't want to be talking to, like, your crush, or a boy you like, or your friend. You got, like, a piece of skin on your lip. Like, that's so gross, like... I know, I know that sounds weird, but like, lip scrub your lips, your lips will be so smooth, then you can apply lip gloss, and you'll look bomb, it's just... So now we're gonna talk about some shampoo and conditioning for your hair. When you're washing your hair, you do want to make sure that you really scrub and like get rid of all the dead skin cells and all the dandruff and all the built up oil. Shampoos and conditioners are very difficult for me to find because my hair has been bleached and like dyed like a million times, so it's pretty dead. So I do need as much like moisture without being like super oily. I tend to like the brand L'Oreal, um, L'Oreal Paris. I use the Damage Repair. It's like red and white bottle, the deep conditioning, and that like helps my hair like 100%. But OGX, I find that this one, it smells like vanilla, like vanilla chocolate cake. This one smells so good. This is what it looks like. Um, the only thing to be careful about is like, obviously know your hair type, know how much oil you have, dandruff. Like every shampoo and conditioner is probably not gonna work for your hair. You just kind of find what's right, what's wrong. I tend to like OGX, the brand, a lot. A lot of good um, products. I do like the keratin conditioner that really that really does help your hair. It's like a red bottle. I do have it in my bathroom. I have like 500 OGX products. Not sponsored by the way. They didn't want to sponsor me, so I said that's okay. <laughs> it smells so good, and I would recommend using like the same like brand and same like conditioner and shampoo because they are meant to work together. Try not to like branch off and use like a Pantene and a L'Oreal because it might like have a chemical reaction on your hair or it could just like not work. So yeah, this is what I use. It smells so good. Like like I said, vanilla is my scent, so I use vanilla everything. So. Okay, so I'm sure you guys have heard about the like the life hack where you put like Vaseline on like your pulse points and then you spray with perfume and your perfume will last longer. It's, like obviously a really good um, hack, but if you don't have time, I just recommend spraying um, perfume on your pulse points, wrist, here, your neck, I don't know. Your knees are really good. I know this is kind of a weird place. There's a lot of heat generated from there and your hair. Uh, the only thing about your hair is like, I wouldn't recommend spraying it directly on your hair because perfume is literally like rubbing alcohol. So that's not too good for your hair because it does dry it out. But, you know, brush it into your brush and just, it'll make your hair smell like good, so. Okay, so one last thing I do want to point out is that there's a difference between perfume and body mist. Body mist is just like a perfume, like, mist. I don't know if it's perfume mist or body mist, but it kind of just, it's like a mist of smell. So it's not going to last very long. It won't linger. It'll linger on, but, like, it won't be super strong as a perfume would be. I've heard, and I've smelled the Ariana Grande perfumes. I really want some for Christmas because they smell so good. Like I said, um, since body mist doesn't really last very long, I would recommend carrying, like, a body mist with you so that you can spray up uh, freshen up a couple times a day maybe at lunch maybe at break maybe before you want to go see your cute little crush or something like that you know just make sure you're always smelling fresh you never want to be caught off guards feeling musty and that's gross that's gross we're not about that life sweetie okay you're watching this because you want to smell good or because you like me which is weird but i love you if you're watching this i don't know what i'm talking about all right, so this little life hack is for all my germaphobes out there. I'm germaphobe. I hate, I can feel germs on my hands. Like, I know it's so weird, but I can just feel gross and, like, like I need, like, to wash my hands. But, like, obviously, when I'm not, like, near a sink, I use hand sanitizer. So, in my little bed, I have a hand sanitizer. And I just have it from, like, Bath & Body Works. And this is the scent I'm using. It's Pumpkin Cupcake. Oh, my God. If... If Bath & Body Works ever comes out with like a perfume or like a body mist in pumpkin cupcake, I'm gonna buy like a share in it. Like I am going to put all my money into it because this smells on like my life, the best thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. It smells so good and it like, it's kind of strong. So like when you use it, it'll stay on for a little bit, like a couple minutes. 
or even up to like half an hour so when you walk by somebody they're gonna be like what the hell is that like it's gonna smell so good so like 10 out of 10 recommend so this is a little life hack because like obviously you can't just like take out a perfume bottle and just start spraying yourself in class first of all it's kind of tacky and also people are gonna be like what the hell like why should like go to the bathroom you know freshen up but like this is kind of secretly like discreet you can kind of like put it in your pan and just like go like this and then you're gonna be smelling good you don't have to make a big scene don't have to be dramatic and yeah i would 10 out of 10 recommend getting like one of these little holders and perfume for your bag or your purse you can thank me later honestly just go buy it go buy it it's only a dollar a dollar out of your bank account okay this next one is for all my ashy babies you know how many ashy ankles and ashy knuckles i've seen in like the past like few months like i know it's getting cold and i know it's getting dry i have that i have that problem i got some ashy little ankles i um, yeah this is an ankle okay cool like knuckles so i 10 out of 10 recommend using like lotion uh vaseline isn't like the best at least for me i find it to like be super thick and super greasy and it doesn't really moisturize coconut oil that is a lifesaver you can put that on your lips you can put that on your skin put it in your hair you're just it's super it's super super good it'll it'll help take away any like eczema or like ashiness use a foot mask if you got ashy ankles that's gonna clear it up right away use coconut oil use coconut body lotion body i want y'all to have smooth little ankles no ashy ankles that's not cute i mean i know i know you get busy in your life but you gotta you gotta Take some of this, moisturize your ankles, elbows, and your knuckles, okay? Get it all. No more ashy ankles. I'm gonna come to you. I'm gonna come find you. If you have ashy ankles, I'm gonna come find you. I'm gonna tell you, do this, okay? I don't know how hard it is to just use deodorant. I don't wanna smell your BO, your stanky armpits, girl. That is not cute. And I'm talking to boys too. Armpits, God damn it. I smell like chopped onions. <laughs> And I always get mad, I'm like, Joe, why do I smell it first? I'm over here. You're right fucking here. I have the deodorant every time. Joe, this is all you gotta do. You just rub it under this armpit. These boys out here thinking they can use Axe body spray to take a shower in. It's not shower in a can, okay? You still gotta wash your body. Like, that's gross. That's really, really gross. Please use deodorant, especially if you're a girl. Like, I don't wanna be like sitting next to you and be like, is that me? Like, who stinks? Like, I keep deodorant with me like at all times, just in case. Um. And yeah, I use the vanilla one. It's the vanilla secret scent, and this is what it looks like. It's so good. Don't know how to apply deodorant? Make sure that your armpits are not wet, so make sure that you're not applying deodorant after your exercise, you have gotten a shower or taken a bath. Make sure that your armpits are dry before you put deodorant on, otherwise it's literally like gonna do nothing. Like, common sense. You <laughs> use deodorant, come on. Y'all are like adults. Like, how are you gonna go to a job interview smell like an onion? Like. That's gross. Is using body wash when you're showering or bathing. You might be thinking, Tara, I don't got a lot of money. I don't, can't go to Walmart and buy like a $6 like body wash. Like what am I gonna do? Girl, take your <laughs> Dollarama and get you some body wash. I got this coconut addiction. It was like 50 cents or like a dollar or something from like Dollar Tree. Like this is the cheap stuff I use. I do use the Dove, um, vanilla or whatever it is coconut butter or something shea butter i don't know but like there is no excuse for you not smelling cute go to go to dollar emma go buy you this i went to my uh washroom i actually have a bath like ran with some bubbles and we're gonna have a like cute little bubble bath even though it's like really late at night and it's a friday night um but i'm gonna use the dove purely pampering shea butter um this is what it looks like it's like warm vanilla it smells so good like this is like more on the high end even though it's not too much money um i 10 out of 10 recommend it smells so good and i can't wait to hop in the bath and just oh girl you know i love so i'd also recommend using like a loofah or something you can also use like a face cloth that's pretty good but i do recommend loofahs you do have to throw them out after like a few months because they do kind of get like gross with bacteria and that's just not cute that's not good that's not mm -mm. no throw the whole throw the whole thing away we're not we're not dealing with that it's just like other stuff but like nobody want to be smelling bad you know especially if they're trying to impress somebody even though you should never impress anybody like i don't impress nobody i do myself because i don't what anybody thinks like so i hope you guys enjoyed my video i'm gonna go put on some face masks this one's a bubbling face mask and i'm just gonna have like a cool chill night do my homework tomorrow 
so yeah i filmed a video for you guys and i hope you guys enjoy it take my tips and just put them into your life um with that being said i hope you guys subscribe and give this video a like if you did share it with your friends i don't know have fun um so yeah with that being said stay hydrated and i love you guys bye <laughs>